Alright guys, so what we have today is the longest track of all time. Uh, just kidding, there's really no way to tell that. Because I don't have the game on the Xbox, I have it on PlayStation and PC, but uh, that's it. So, uh, for me, what I was trying to go for, what I was aiming for, was a 10 minute lap time. I did not get that, I will tell you right now, it is closer to 8. It's like 7.40, 7 and three quarters maybe almost an eight minute lap time but not quite so uh it was close and you could for sure get probably a 10 minute lap time if you built the track really annoying but what i was trying to go for what i was aiming for was uh, a track with uh variety you know some fast sections some slower sections some rhythm sections you know i wanted to feel a little bit of a mix between a motocross track and a supercross track I feel like we kind of achieved that, uh, depending on who you ask. If you ask me, of course. If you, if you ask somebody else, maybe we didn't achieve it. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, you see some rollers there. That uh, mainly, not so much these, but those tighter ones. That was kind of to slow you down a bit for time. And I did test every section multiple times. I mean, I spent, I would say I probably put a minimum four hours into the build uh, I would say roughly four hours into the build so I did it did take a while you know I didn't have a set layout the only thing I did know is that I wanted the track to cover the in, the entire map and if you look down in track editor y the whole map is orange I mean the track covers 99% of the map and so you see some sections that maybe feel a bit super cross style it's because we're trying to cover the entire map. Now here, you do see that rhythm section a few times throughout this uh, lap because it was something I did enjoy. So I do do that three times, you'll see it again. And then here is one, uh, here are two of the faster sections on the map where we give you a run and you know, you try and hit something really big. This is a big double. And we barely get it. I don't know it's really inconsistent because it's not hard to to get it's actually very easy but we barely did it there this is uh one of my favorite sections you have to hit this double just right or you cannot clear this triple now it does have a fairly forgiving landing but uh you know i really enjoy this section and When we hit the corner, I really enjoy this section too. It's actually made a little bit, it has uh, pre-made stuff and not pre-made. And we're actually doubling onto the the takeoff and then doubling out on some of that. So I really enjoyed that, that was a fun section. A little bit of throttle control, but not that bad. And then here, I wanted to use these uh, big rollers more often, the offsetting ones. I don't know, it, it just, uh, it, it felt so repetitive, and I was really trying hard not to repeat myself very often, but I just, uh, it was tough. It was really tough not to do it, and here I was really hoping we could double out. We couldn't, but I decided to leave it anyways because it was kind of fun, even if it's a case into that first uh, roller. Here, it actually was in the beginning uh, three different pools, but, and I was hoping to be able to hop down in the bottom and then double over the middle one and then hop out but we didn't really have enough run to double in the middle so I just put a straight on the first one and then you know double over the the actual pool so that's that this is a section of uh, more straight feels a little bit more motocross style I feel like and then this triple has too much of a run you have to actually let off a bit where you over jump you do crash if you over jump a bit too much here we have a section of Rollers again, just to uh, fill the space. We have a roller here. You can actually dump the bottom of that pool. And then, I don't even remember. I mean, I did... I mean, I spent a lot of time practicing each section I built. Like, I'd build for a while, go back and try it so I didn't have to delete a bunch. And then, uh, you can actually send it off of this and almost double into that first uh, roller, but... Uh, I have crashed doing that and after you do what are we at five minutes you know I didn't feel like really having to redo that lap so I took the the safe line and just decided to roll it 
but you can send it if you feel like it. I actually have another section very similar where we do roll it too because it's the the safe line. Now there is one section I really had a pathetic attempt at, and I do edit in, uh, you know, doing it the right way, which you will see. It's on the uh, dragon's back. I don't know what happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened. And here you've seen a section very similar to this. I don't know. I just find it fun. To, kind of fun to have that because it's not pre-made something different and we do do it one more time that is the big you made double a section of rollers now here's the other where you can send it from right there and almost double to that first roller but I've crashed a bunch and again after almost five six minutes in the lap I didn't want to go back and do it again just because of a stupid crash so uh, we took the safe line uh, I'm guessing that end must be, or that uh, dragon's back must be at the end. Here is a very slow section. I'm not usually a big fan of sections just kind of doing this, but you know, you just run out of ideas after after making an eight-minute lap time track. You, you don't want to repeat yourself, so we do do a little bit of the S turning, a little bit, just to kind of slow you down and change up how the track feels a little bit, so it's not all the same. And then a section of rollers alternating between the, the big ones and the, the short ones. Now here we should be getting to the dragon's back. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so here is a really wimpy attempt. Uh, and then I, I kind of edit in here where we do hit it the right way. Be coming up right here. You can double it. Uh, when I lean back on that because you're hitting it the wrong way, it's really easy to uh, loop out. So I was kind of leaning forward, but you know, it, you, you can hit it if you don't, you don't have to lean back necessarily, but really bad. So I wanted to put that in there showing you it does work. The second dragon's back, uh, I was really hoping to be able to hop over that first uh, wave roller, kind of case it. So I decided to leave it, but probably would have been best to take it out. And then here, what I was going to do in this section, this entire section to the finish line, was really cobble it up and make it really a really tight section, really slow uh, all over the place. But I decided to just run it back and forth over the start straight because it's more fun that way. It's uh, the faster pace, you know. I just don't really enjoy the, the slow sections where it's just a bunch of corners I, I generally don't enjoy that personally in a build so we probably gave up I mean we had to have given up 30 seconds maybe a minute by not you know making that a bunch of corners there and slowing it down a lot yeah we could have been probably closer to nine minutes if we would have really tried it just wouldn't have been as fun I, I feel like it wouldn't have been as fun I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much and I don't feel like a people that might try it wouldn't have enjoyed it as much now it is not validated I did validate it for the sake of being able to run time attack and show you how long the lap time actually is I actually was able to get my lap time down to around 740 so we did shave what would have been seven eight seconds off of it I'm sure somebody that's amazing at the game could probably get it even lower than that but you know I don't know I have played a couple tracks that were around the six minute range and that's what gave me the idea for trying to build the longest track. So if you guys have actually made a track that has a longer lap time than this or have played one that is uh, longer, let me know in the comments down below and maybe we'll try it. But uh, I, that's just saying that it's not annoying. You, you could do sections like this over and over and over again all over the place. And that I'm sure would add time to your the overall lap time of the of the track so I'm not gonna count those I feel like it has to be something similar to a real build it doesn't have to have really fast sections but it has to have a flow it can't just be you know hip over hip over hip you know corner after corner I, I just don't feel like it would be fun it has to have a blend of stuff well it doesn't have to have a blend but it has to be a fun track to play you know what I mean it can't just be really slow stuff well it can I just it wouldn't be fun in my opinion let me know in the comments for now I'm gonna say this is definitely up there with some of the the longest I, I don't see any reason you couldn't hit the eight or nine minute lap time if you really went back and tried and uh, you'd still have a fun track for sure 10 minutes 11 minutes if you really really cobbled it up and made it really tight but uh, be interesting to see if somebody could do that and uh, still have a fun track 
when I did the validation process, it was actually allowing for like 15 minutes and it took, it took uh, most of those 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, there you guys go. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really means a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.